I'm Kristen Van Ackman's Rouge Online Editor, and we're here today shooting a how-to video with Dylan K. Hansen, celebrity stylist, for our messy bun look. So Dylan, one of the key elements of creating the messy bun look is backcombing. There's a few great benefits for using backcombing for the messy bun look. One of them is it creates a volume. It also creates a larger softness on the sides. Another great benefit is after creating the volume with the backcombing at the back of your head, you make the ponytail and it creates a cushion which supports all the pins that you're using while styling your updo. So to help hold that back combing in place, it's great to spray a little bit, just a pinch of hairspray. Then I would pin these pieces up and wrap them around in different ways. One tip is if you do have really thick hair and when you're pinning the pieces in and you feel that it's, it's not secure enough, I recommend taking an extra pin and crisscrossing your two pins together. So that's a low, messy button updo and all that texture was created by using the backcombing effect. So Dylan, what are the benefits of using a comb versus a brush with the backcombing technique? The comb is great as it provides meticulous backcombing wherever you want on the sides or the back or the top of the head, which is helpful for updos, uh, holding pins when inserting them. Practice makes perfect, obviously, and there's no right or wrong way. That's what's great about doing messy buns because your way is the best way. Be sure to check back soon for more great how-to videos and articles on rougemag.com.